<laughs> we're gonna take Yatur. He's been sitting for a while. Yatur, what would you like to say? Hey, Haris. Yeah. Hey, Nuria. Hi. Hey, Haris. I'm a big fan of you from the very early days when you started your stream. So uh, I'm really, really excited to actually be part of your stream. And you took me. That's so great of you. So I have a question, actually. Uh, here I talk with my Muslim friends most of the time uh, on uh, watching your uh, stream and then uh, talking with them. And uh, uh, sometimes I get very nervous because they throw, uh, they call me Islamophobe. So my question is, while talking with my Muslim friends, how do I avoid being called Islamophobe? And if there is any term I can throw back? Well, you can say you're a kafrophobe. You can, um, I mean, it just becomes, it just becomes a uh, you know, <laughs> shouting, a screaming match, or you know, you can. It, it doesn't mean anything. Like I mean, it, the the uh, we are seeing some Muslims themselves saying that Islamophobe is a bad term. It was just a hasty term that was coined by some idiot, you know, Gora white dude who was trying to suck up to or appease Muslims, and he came up with Islamophobe, and Muslims ran with it. Um, but it's just a bad term and uh, in, in the long run it is backfiring because people that hasn't stopped people um, from criticizing Islam people just, are still making fun of just back to basics uh, why would you not instead of saying something back on the same level why would you not just try and explain to them that look you as a person is the person I'm not attacking right now at all I, I'm, I, I'm a friend you said it's a friend of yours right you already have things in common you have a relationship that's built so I'm not attacking you as a person I'm attacking the, the words in the scripture I'm attacking the ideas that you follow that's a very different thing if you were to turn around tomorrow and do something that seemed crazy to your friend he would call out that idea but he wouldn't say that you know like you're an idiot straight away Mm. Yeah, it's very sad. It's very sad. Like I uh, usually I go there home, and uh, his wife and his kids, uh, all those are okay. His uh, uh, daughter-in-law, and uh, probably uh, then uh, I uh, suddenly I started asking uh, uh, questions, and he discussed at home. His kids are like uh, you know twelve and sixteen, and uh, his wife. Uh, he was sharing with them what questions they have. They said. Uh, he is Islamophobe. So uh, he came back and he threw that word on me. But later on, he told me even, you know, uh, uh, I didn't know what that, what that, uh, you know, what does that mean? I told him what, uh, what uh, Islamophobe is. So I was very shocked. Like, uh, how come they even, uh, I did not talk with them. They don't know me, what my, you know, views are or my arguments are. But still, they call me Islamophobe. Yeah, it's like the immediate like uh, Muslim defense mechanism that kicks in, you know, to, to, to shelter any criticism of anything about their religion. They know that if they call somebody an Islamophobe, that would stop them in its tracks. You'd be so offended and you'd want to be so far away from being labeled that and called that. Because what's the next step after Islamophobe? They'll probably brand you a racist. And again, in this day and age and with cancel culture, obviously, like I'm not saying like you're a celebrity with a big, big platform, but they're doing this now on a micro level and it's shutting down any legitimate conversation um, about Islam and about the scriptures. So if you genuinely have a question about why did a 50 something year old marry a six year old, that is a question that you are allowed to have independently of your Muslim friendships. Do you know what I mean? That's a legitimate question. So they will chuck that label at you. That is their first mm -hmm. um, defense mechanism. But don't let that put you off because you are friends with this person. You you have a relationship. You're asking a genuine question and there is nothing wrong with asking questions contrary to what their religion tells you. That's well, You're well within your rights. So they will say that to dissuade you, to put you off, to scare you from looking into their scripture too more, to uh, uh, scare you from questioning their way of life and their practices and their beliefs and their homophobia and a bunch of other things. But you need to constantly, this every time they throw Islamophobia, you need to constantly make that differentiation and say, I'm asking a genuine question here. If your religion is timeless, how does that, or whatever question you might have, whether it's science, philosophy, whatever it is. Yeah, but the problem is Muslims, but the problem is Muslims themselves, they, they view as an attack on Islam, as an attack on themselves. It's just that the, 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 they're tied to get the same way Hindus are like so hellbent on the, 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 mo the moment you criticize any Indian politics or something. How many times I hear it? Or you hate Hindus. So they call it Hindu phobia or India phobia or whatever. So these people always come up with these because they 
and that's the problem with no but that's their problem mind. not yours no no i know that yeah exactly and that, but but i'm just trying to draw in a, mm-hmm. i'm just trying to give a paint a bigger picture and i'm saying that people tend to react that way when you attack their beliefs or whatever they hold on to so dearly when you attack that they feel that as an attack on themselves um, even scientists do that. If you attack a certain scientist's idea, he would feel that it's an attack on him. I think it's just an innate human feature that we feel that way. It's just a point that can we be advanced enough to actually be able to separate ideas from ourselves or our, or, or our groups, us as groups of people. Um, I think that's the challenge and I think that's what we're trying to do. It's not something that is um, inconceivable or it's not something that we cannot attain achieve i think we can so you just gotta that what nuria said you just gotta somehow can tell them that you know i'm not attacking you i'm attacking your ideas and that's perfectly fine always and, and when we draw the um examples of you know like you don't get as defensive if we attack your favorite cricket team your favorite sports team you you and then you do get aggressive or defensive when we attack your favorite political party but not obviously that would also be not as much as if we attack your religion so there's a hierarchy of people getting defensive as well when we attack their ideas what they're holding all right and 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 you know that they love they love people looking into it and converting so if all else fails just be like you're interested in islam because you're interested in it and you want to know about it and look into their scriptures with them yeah. But the problem yeah. is when you tell them, like, if you tell them that, okay, I'm interested, interested on this and that, I have a question, then they, they, what they tell you, basically, they tell you, okay, I'll take you to the sheikh, I will take you to the mosque, there's some, like, uh, other, uh, some sheikh uh, or some uh, other mullah, they want me to take, take, want to take me over there, they don't want to face that, but they don't want to read that Quran with me, like, I said, okay, let's read Quran or, uh, together, let's read uh, Bukhari together. But they only they want you to take take you to the to the mosque over there. I said no, I don't want to do that. When I take you to Har Sultan, if you want that, want to, let's take your mullah also to the Har Sultan stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Got to wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. If you like these videos and want to support me in my activism, then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone. Thank you.